Hello. Hi there. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Good evening. How how are you all? Wow, this is a big class. Okay, I can see there are a lot of people. Okay, I'm just um, letting everybody into the classroom because I see there are still people that are joining. Okay. Okay, I think that's everybody. Okay, well guys, welcome to today's class. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How fine, are you? fine, thank you. How are you? Good, fine, good. thank you. Good, I'm happy to see it. everybody here in the class. Um, how many students approximately connect? Do you guys? I don't know. Do you guys mm -hmm. know approximately? Like in the last, in the last um, course, it's about 16 students. Okay, okay. I'm just asking because I need to uh, give everybody um, the admission to the class. And I want to know how many students I'm still waiting for. So, okay. So it sounds like the majority are here already. Okay. Well, guys, welcome to today's class. Um, I'm really excited to be with you. Um, so you are starting the pre-advanced um, section, right? How are you guys feeling about that? Excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay, good, good. All right. Okay, well, before anything, let me introduce myself to you guys. Um, since uh, pretty much I don't know you guys and you don't know me. So let me tell you a little bit about who I am. Um, well, my name is Jessica Guerrero, as I was exp explaining there in the WhatsApp group. Um, by the way, is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Everybody's yes. there? Everybody has joined? Yes. yes. No, yet. No, yet, really. Not yet. Okay. But, but uh, later, I, I will be. Okay, okay, that's fine, Luis. Um, if you can do it as soon as possible, that would be wonderful because uh, through the WhatsApp group is the way that we communicate. And if there are any questions, you can go ahead and ask me. Uh, so it, like uh, any homework, I will be checking through the WhatsApp group. So if you can join you, it would be best to join today if possible. Um, for those of you that are not sure how to join, uh, remember that you were given, uh, or better said, you were sent an email with all the different types of codes and um, passwords that you need to use. And one of them said the WhatsApp group. So you can join like by just clicking on that link and it will go directly to the WhatsApp group, okay? So um, hopefully everybody will be able to join. Okay, so anyways, guys, um, like I was saying, my name is Jessica Guerrero. Um, let me see, I can tell you that I have been an English teacher for 15 years. Um, I've been living in El Salvador for 17 years, almost, almost. Um, and um, well, I, I actually came on a vacation. Um, it, was, it was just supposed to be a few months and um, I really liked it. So I decided to stay and here I am. If, if, you know, 17 years later, I'm, I'm still here. And uh, let me tell you, I have one son. Um, he's 12 years old. And uh, some hobbies of mine, I, I love to watch series on Netflix. Uh, that's my, my, um, my guilty pleasure. Uh, and I love listening to music. Uh, my passion is dancing. I love dancing. Um, and I also, um, what, I, what can I tell you? Um, I love to go to the beach. Uh, I don't go very often to the beach because I don't have very much time, but I do love the beach. Um, and um, 
Uh, well, actually, one of the my one of my goals is that one day I want to live on the beach. Like I want to have a house on the beach. Like, I, and I don't mean like close to the beach. I mean like right in front of the beach, looking at the ocean. Uh, you know, looking from my the balcony of my bedroom, I want to be able to see the ocean. So that's my dream. Um, and what else I can tell you? I love my favorite color is purple. Um, my favorite drink is coca-cola and uh, my favorite dessert is chocolate <laughs> the the more chocolate the better for me <laughs> and um let's see and my favorite uh tv program is bones so that's a little bit about me do you guys have any questions you want to ask me no Are you sure? You can ask me any questions. Don't worry. Like, feel free to ask any questions. Yes, I have a question. Okay, go ahead, Dan. Uh, where did you live before El Salvador? Because to say, like, you just arrived a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 17 years ago. Not, not, I mean, it's been a quite a while, but yeah. Um, I'm actually from, originally from Canada. All right, all right. Yeah. Do you have any other questions for me? Come on, don't be shy. Ask anything. I can go ahead and when yes, I have. Yeah. Yes, okay. I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Ask me. Uh, uh, what topic uh, uh, we are going to view today? What topic are we going to see today? Are we going to see today? I'm okay, sorry. yeah, no, yeah. It, actually, um, we're going to be looking at relative pronouns, okay, okay. Uh, for relative clauses. That's what we're going to be looking at today, Rel like relative clauses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, what I have a question. Do you have any other <laughs> questions? Uh, my question, my question is if, if, if we can ask you in the WhatsApp group when we have uh, whatever doubt uh, that we, have, we can have, for example, for, because, for example, I often have some questions about the structure of the sentence, for example, and I don't know if, if, if I can, uh, for example, post a question and you can ask when you have time. I don't know if that, that is the, the thing. The yeah, absolutely, Rafael. Um... You can, that's actually what the WhatsApp group is for, right? Uh, for us to have a support group there, um, both with our classmates and with the uh, facilitator as well. Um, so yes, of course you can uh, write to me, write any questions that you have. Um, now, what I, unfortunately, I won't be able to answer probably right away, Raphael, yeah. because um, I do, I do have, uh, I, like um, I have a work schedule and um, there might be moments where I won't be able to answer immediately, but as yeah, soon as I can, I will answer it, okay? Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm not, I'm not in that uh, WhatsApp group. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. So, Jose, what you can do is um, I'll give you my number. No, 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 um, it's not necessary. Uh, they sent you an email yeah. uh, with all of the passwords, uh, sorry, the, all of the links that you needed. Do you remember that email? You, you're going to send me that. No, no, uh, chat that link. That email, they already sent it to you. So you just have to check your email. Oh, oh, okay, okay. See an email with all different links. There are many, many di different links. And yeah, yeah. those links is WhatsApp group. So it will say WhatsApp and then it says the, the, the link. You just click on the link and it will directly take you to the WhatsApp group, okay? So that you can join directly from the link. Okay. Okay, I will do it. Thank you. Right, you're welcome, Jose. All right. Do you guys have any other questions, doubts that you 
want to ask before? Yes, hello. I have a question. Okay, go ahead, Alejandra. I would like to know how will the classes be? I don't I don't have the idea. Okay. Is it oh, uh, I don't sorry, go, go, go ahead, Alejandra. No, I want to know if the classes will be interactive or something like that. Yes, um, Alejandra, I, I don't know. Is this your first course here? Yeah, it's my first course. Okay, okay, that's not a problem. Um, so, um, so yes, of course, Alejandra, uh, we are going to be having um, these. Okay, let me explain a little bit to you how this program works. Um, this program is 40 hours of class um, that is divided basically um, in four, or better said, that is completed in four, um, four weeks, okay? So 40 weeks, sorry, 40 hours for four weeks, okay? Um, the, that's approximately 10 hours a week. Now, we, however, only have one hour of class, okay? So that means that four hours of those 10 hours of, of the week, we're gonna be spending in class in the virtual classroom, uh, online classroom. And the other six excuse, hours- Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But the Zoom conference is uh, about the 40 minutes of, uh, in of time, if I if I am not confused, uh, the conference. W which conference? Uh, the conference, the Zoom conference. Uh, uh, this conference. Oh, the meeting. The meeting. Oh, is... this class. And the, this class yeah. is yes. Uh, one hour. It's, it's one about hour. the forty minutes. It's from the, the, uh, and. It's from nine. And you are talking about uh, one hour. Yes, it's from class. Ten. Okay. Yes. It's one but the, the, I'm talking, I'm talking of the the period of time what uh, the Zoom conference is about, and the Zoom conference is about uh, forty minutes. Uh, no, the conference uh, or this this uh, classroom session is from nine to ten, so it's one complete hour. Okay, but it, at forty minutes, the the conference finishes. Uh, you are going to send uh, another link of another conference. If you have the permission, uh, class. no, no, no. This is going to no. It's it's um it's going to continue. So it's one complete hour okay so ah, no, okay. Worries. no worries okay so um okay, as good. i was, I was Thank you. you're welcome you're welcome jose so as i was telling alejandra um this this uh this online classroom is going to be one hour a day that means that then there are going to be four hours in the week now the remaining six hours of the week um, you're going to be spending on a platform okay you have been given access to the platform, Alejandra. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alejandra. Yes. Yes. Asked? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, in that yes. sorry, in that um, platform, you're going to be working uh, to com complete the exercises. Basically, it's going to be 16 hours of virtual class, like online classes, and the uh, remaining 24 hours are going to be in the platform, okay? So what are the classes for? What are the virtual classes for? Basically, the virtual classes are, one, um, to clarify any doubts that you have from the, um, from the platform. So if you have any, any questions um, that you're not understanding about the, the, the platform, then we can, we can look at that during the class, okay? The other thing that we're gonna be doing in class is being able to do um, exercises where you have the opportunity of it, interacting with your classmates so that you are able to practice the language. 
Okay, does that make sense, Alejandra? Yes, yes, for sure. Okay, wonderful. All right, thank what you. Other, you're welcome. What about the others? Do you have any other questions, whether it's about this class or questions for me, personal questions for me, whatever you want to ask? No? Right. No. No. Okay. So it sounds to me like everybody is quite clear um, about how we're going to be working. Uh, remember that it is very important for you to spend time on the platform. So from this moment, from the very first day, I'm going to remind you guys it's you need to get onto the platform. If you haven't um, gotten on the platform yet, you need to start um, getting on it as soon as possible because we don't want to go to like, um, we don't want to be at the end, um, like rushing very quickly and doing everything very quickly and not understanding and everything. We want to do things with time. Okay, so um, my suggestion, what I can suggest uh, for everybody to do is, um, go to the platform and start at least today scanning the information from the platform so that um, you understand the idea. In fact, today we're going to be covering a topic from the platform, from the first topic of the platform. So it, you will, should be able to start working on that as soon as possible. Okay. Any questions? So the topics that we are going to study in the platform are the topics that we are going to find in the in the in the other platform that you are going to that you are saying. That's the that you are saying. Yes, that's correct. Um, okay. But yeah, the first the the first um, the first section that we're going to be. Uh, sorry, the first some topic that we're going to be looking at is from the first section, and it's going to be mm -hmm. looking at um, the first topic from that section. There are actually five sections, um, and since there are uh, four weeks, that means that we're going to be looking at a little bit more than one section per week. Okay? Okay. Sounds good? Yeah. Any other questions? No? Yes, I have a question. Okay, go ahead, Jose. Uh, when, when we are when we are in the class, uh, we are going to check the information in the in the page in the in, in the page of uh, in in the platform. Um, uh, in the platform, yes, and uh, we are going to check the information uh, there uh, when we are having our class. No, 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 we're not going to be using the platform in the class unless um, there are some questions and I will, I will refer to the platform, um, but no, not really. Um, you don't need to be, you don't need to be using the platform during the class. You, you, the platform will be something different, okay. be, um, your own time. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But in the, when, when, when we are having our class, uh, our class is for questions that we have or exercises that we don't understand. Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, part of the class will be um, to answer any questions you have, any exercises that you are having problems with, we can go over them. Um, that's part of the classroom, that's right, part of the class. And the other part will be to do exercises for you to practice, like interactive exercises. And I, I saw a YouTube list of videos, but a it is empty and when it, it, okay. but why it is empty 
Okay, okay, good. Um, Jose, um, are you referring to uh, you opened up the, the link that was given to you in the email? Is that what you're asking about? Yes, I, I, I had already opened the link and okay. I don't found it, uh, anything. Yeah, uh, okay, good. I, I didn't found very, anything. That's a very good question, Jose. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, for those of you that are new to, um, to Inglés Corporativo, um, let me explain to you how this works. This class that we're having right now, every class we, we have is recorded. Okay. If you notice at the top of the of, of the Zoom, you will see that it says recording. Do you see that? Yes, I have. Okay, good. I've already seen that. That means that this class in this moment, we are recording the class. When the class finishes, then um, I am going to upload. Are you recording the Are you recording the class now? Exactly. The class in this moment is being recorded. Okay. The moment that the class finishes, or better so not the moment, but when the class finishes um, after the class, I'm going to upload the video so that you can see it on the playlist. So that that is useful in case, for example, uh, you are not able to see the class. If you are not able to be in class one day and um, you want to see what we did in class. So let's say that tomorrow, you are you cannot be in class. Imagine tomorrow you you had to work and you couldn't be in class or you had an emergency, whatever happened. You cannot you could not be in class. So what you do, what you can do is watch the class of the day before on the playlist. So in this moment, the list is empty because right now we have not recorded any class from this course. Today is day number one. So tomorrow at 8 a.m. you will be able to see the the video of today's class. Uh, at 8 a.m.? Yes, after 8 a.m. after 8 a.m. Um, all the videos should be uploaded. Okay? Okay. It could be before, it could Thank be a tiny bit after, but mostly 8 a.m. is going to be the, the time. Okay. How many hours? Okay. 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 So Jose, how many a hours? Period? Sorry, I just want to make sure. Jose, is it clear? Yeah, Did yeah. it answer your question? Uh, yes, yes, thank you. Okay, okay, wonderful. All right, who else had a question? Um, how many hours should we to invest, invest in the other platform? Okay, um, so Minimum, I would say, because the course is 40 hours, it's made, the course is made to, um, to work in 40 hours, and we have 16 hours of class. That means that 24 hours will be, will, should be spent on the platform. So okay. I would recommend approximately six hours of, of cla class, or better said, so six hours should be spent a week on the platform. Six hours, okay. Yeah, Six approximately. Approximately. Any okay, other questions? Thanks. Come on guys, ask me questions, bombard me with questions. I like questions. <laughs> Don't be afraid of asking. Okay. I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Diana. Um, Diana. <laughs> um, will we have any material to study the issues? To study, sorry, to study what, Diana? Uh, the issues, the topics. Okay, the topics. Um, well, in the platform, the platform is designed one, like you will, if you have um, opened up the platform, you will see that it goes by section. And each section, it starts with the lesson objective. And then there's a video that explains a little bit about the information. Then you will also have the information that we will see in the in class so that you can have a better idea. 
you can go ahead and see other videos online if you want. Um, that's up to you. And then we would have the, the pro, it's called um, the knowledge check, which is the part where you get to practice the exercises. Okay, so the platform, it will explain a little bit about the topic. Okay. Okay. Does that answer your question, Diana? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. More questions? No? So everything is clear? Carlos seems to be saying something, but I can't hear anything. I don't know. Carlos, do you have a question? Okay, yes. Okay, all right. Possible. Yes, um, let me see Carlos, Carlos. Let's see if I could help there with the... Mm. Why don't you use the microphone of your computer, uh, Carlos? It's possible it's better. Well, you can use the message. Yeah, you can chat on the message. Uh, sorry, the yeah, on the chat as well. In the meantime, while Carlos is writing something, anybody else want to ask a question? You can open up your microphone. No? No. Okay, so Carlos asks if there if it's a class for each section. Um, Carlos, there are five sections in the platform. So um, basically it's going to be almost one section and a little bit more per week. Okay, so if you if you if you have opened your platform, I, I'm actually you know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to share um, the the platform so that you guys can see what it looks like. So I know that some people haven't had the opportunity of seeing the platform yet. So I'll go ahead and just share it with you. Okay, just tell me when you can see my plat the my my screen. So right now I'm sharing. Let me know when you can finally see it. Yes, we can see now. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right, so the platform yes. looks like this. Okay. Um the platform will will contain, well actually, when it closes, if you when you open it, it will have five sections, right? Section one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so when you open, when you expand the section, it goes on to uh, section 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, all the way up to 1.13. Okay, so what's going to happen is first we're going to have this is this part here, uh, 1.0 is just telling you what the lesson objective is. That's all it is. Okay. Then 1.1 is going to have there the exercises, okay? Then 1.2, again, we have another objective in 1.2 and lets you know what the objective is. And then we have some more exercises here, okay? And we have, uh, it says here, the knowledge check, okay? So we can check the exercises to see how much you, you understand and so on, okay? that continues up to 1.13. When we're finished 1.13, we go on to section number two. We expand this part right here. And you will notice again, we have many different sections or many different exercises here. 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, all the way to 2.10, okay? After 
that, you're going to go to section number three. In section three, you will notice that there are two parts. One that's called, could you do me a favor, which is all of the exercises for the homework. And the other one is the midterm. Now, this part here is going to be just like this part here, where you have 3.0 up to 3.12. After you have finished that, you're going to be doing a midterm, okay? The midterm exam is an exam in the middle of the, of the course. We have a listening part. Uh, we have a part to choose the correct word, then put in the words in order. Uh, we get to do exercises on gerund phrase, completing the sentence, and a reading section, okay? So there are uh, six sections in the midterm. This means that you should be doing the midterm approximately by the, sec the end of the second week of the course or in the, like, or the beginning of the third week of the course, okay? So we're talking about, let me see. Let me look at the calendar here. So today is the 12th. Um, Okay, let me see here. So today's the 12th, probably somewhere around, um, you know, like the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th of the month, you should be doing the midterm, okay? And then after you do that, we're just going to continue there with section four, right? Which again, opens up, expands, to start from section 4.0 to 4.11, and finally section five, which also has two parts. There, these are the activities, it goes from 5.0 to 5.8. And fi we have the final exam. This is the exit exam, let's say, to finish the course. Uh, and it also, this one has five sections. You need to finish the final exam to be able to finish the platform, okay? Now, all of these exercises where it says homework, they are worth 30% of your score. Another 30% of the score will come from the midterm, which, we, which I showed you here, it's over here. The midterm is in section number three. That will be the other 30% of the class. And the last 40% will come from the final exam. Okay, is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes, it's clear. Yes. 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 Thank you. yes. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Any other questions? So and for this for this wave, okay. Yes. No, no, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No problem. Uh, so for this week, we we gotta we gotta do the 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 topic um, related to the point number one point one. Yeah, this week you should finish all relative random. All of this section one section one. So you have to go from six, from one point zero to one point thirteen, and you should start okay. you should start section number two as well. Okay. okay. So I would suggest maybe by the end of the week, by by the weekend, you should be somewhere around like here, something like that, like two point okay. two or two point three. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other thing is when you open it up, just. You know, open it up, see what it contains here. Like I said, uh, where it says lesson objective, it's actually um, very straightforward. There's really nothing that you have to do. Okay, let's just wait there for it to load. And uh, so when you see the lesson objective, um, it's like I said, it's, it's a very, very simple. It's just looking at the objective of each section of each part of the section. And then it goes, it usually um, shows a video 
of um, the topic. So you, it starts, so it starts presenting the topic, and then you can go ahead and start doing the exercises. Okay. It's taking a while to load. I don't know why. Okay, so it's loading. Okay, so um, it says here, so there it is, okay. So the information says 1.0, less than objective. It says by the end of the lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns, who and that as subjects. That's the less objective. And then what you can do is simply go to the word so siguiente, and it would go to 1.1, you continue going siguiente, go 1.2 and so on, right? Over here, you can also, if you don't want to go to siguiente and you want to skip, you can also go to the top part over here and it can go directly to different section, different areas of the section. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes clear. Yes, it sounds good to me. Okay, wonderful. Any other questions that you want to know about the platform? I know that I know some of you have already used the platform, um, but since many of you are new to uh, to Inglés Corporativo, eh, that's why I'm going over all this information so that no one is lost when you are using the platform. Yes, me, I have a question. Okay. Uh, where did it is uh, where um, app mobile is the same uh, of this of the uh, platform is the same mode is the same as platform i'm sorry what was the question what is the same as the uh, um my question is uh, app mobile uh, does app mobile uh, is the same uh, platform the app mobile um See. I'm not really sure. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm not sure exactly sure what you what it refers to. Um, that's a mobile. That's a mobile and platform are the same. Okay. Uh, to be completely honest, I don't have an answer to that question, uh, but I can find out for you, and I will let you know either in the WhatsApp group or tomorrow. Okay. Yes, because I'm not really sure what you refer to as the app mobile, but I will find out. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions that you have for me? No, I don't have any question. So it's all clear for everybody? Yes. Yeah, yes. It's okay. Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing here the platform. Okay. And so for the remainder of the class, which are about um, 15 minutes, uh, what we're going to do is the following. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to share the whiteboard. And I'm just going to quickly explain there a little bit about what we call relative clauses. Okay, so relative clauses are basically um, parts of a sentence that give more information about a noun okay and a noun if you guys remember can be a person a place a thing or an animal so any part 
that gives me more information, uh, a clause that gives me information about a noun or, or a person, a thing, or a place or animal is going to be a relative clause. Usually relative clauses um, identify, like we're going to be looking right now at, at words that, uh, sorry, relative clause that identifies what um, the, the, the noun is. Okay, to give you an example. Espérate que se terminen de apagar los poquitos estos de aquí enfrente. Para cerrar. Ok. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to, this is just, this is not, not a relative clause. Um, this is just the beginning of a relative clause. Um, but it's at the beginning of the sentence with, that will contain a relative clause. So, but if you notice here, I'm going, what I want to do right now is I want to, um, give information about in this case I want to give information about person in this one about an insect and this one is about a machine is that clear for everybody yes yeah Yes, yes. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do then to be able to um, to do to talk about or, or uh, describe um, these things, I'm going to start by saying, okay, if I just say a vet is a person, that really doesn't make sense. But if I continue describing what kind of person it is, then it's going to say a vet is a person, for example, let me change this. Who treats sick animals? Okay. So a vet is a person who treats sick animals. So this part here, oh, sorry. Oh. No, let me change that. who treats sick animals, this part here is what we call the relative clause. And this part here is describing the person. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So like, it's like when you say in Spanish, un veterinario es una persona que um, ayuda o, o, uh, o atiende a los animales enfermos. Okay, so that would be for uh, this part right here is called the relative clause. Now, uh, for uh, let's let's go on to this one, the second one, a bee. Okay, if I just say a bee is an insect, well, uh, yeah, fine, but that doesn't really give me very much information. So what I'm going to do to give a little bit, get more information, I'm going to say a bee is an insect, which Okay. 
makes honey. Okay. So a bee is an insect which makes honey. Right. So what? Which part is the relative clause? Who can help me with identify what? Which part is the relative clause? Which makes honey. Exactly. That part there would be the relative clause, which yeah. makes honey. That part there is describing, oops. That part there is describing the insect. It's giving me information about the insect. Okay? Yeah. And finally, we have a machine. An ATM is a machine yeah. which gives you money uh, from your bank account. Okay, so which part is the relative clause? Who can help me? It gives you money from your bank account. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which gives you money from your bank account. This part right here is describing the machine. It's giving me information about the machine okay so that's why it's called a relative clause okay. all right so what you know what you probably have already noticed is that we start the relative clause with a specific word and that word we call it we call that word a relative a relative pronoun the who and the which are what we call relative pronouns. Okay. So we use, which are the relative pronouns then? What are they? Which and who. Which, which and who, that's right, exactly. Now, what, when do we use which one? Okay, well, basically, who we use it for people, and which we can use it for a thing or an animal. Okay? Yeah. So I'll repeat. Who is for people? But who is for people? Who is for people? and which is for things and animals which is for things or animals excellent okay perfect now and i have a question mm -hmm. uh, uh, which relative clause is used for places for places uh for places we use a relative uh Relative uh, pronoun is uh, where. Okay, so you can say, for example, uh, San Salvador is the city where I was born. Okay, but right mm -hmm. now, you don't need to know this. Okay, right now, what you all in this moment, all we are studying is with these ones, with these relative pronouns. You can, you, it's good to know that we can use. Um, where for for places but in this moment it's not necessary to know that okay you don't need to know that for part in this in this case teacher we can also use that instead of which right for example right. if i say something like for example if i say something like a bee is an insect that makes honey okay 
Good. Thank you very much. That's actually my next point. Okay. The, thank you very much for bringing that up. And if you notice, I have left a space here. Okay. Now I did that on purpose. Okay. It's not just because I, I wanted to make it look nice. No, it's because there's a, there's a reason why I have left it there. And the reason is because there's another word that I can use. No, I, I can use who, but I'll, I can also use the word that, okay? So I can use who, or I can also use that. In fact, I can do this with also this one, okay? So not, not only with who, but I can also do it with, with which, okay? Which doesn't want to cooperate with me. Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's another relative pronoun that I can use. And in fact, what's nice about that relative pronoun is that um this one, it does. You don't have to worry about uh, being a if it's a person, a thing, or an animal. You can use both. Okay, you can use it for both an animal. Well, you can use it for people. You can use it for animals. You can use it for things. So it's independent. Both are both of them are possible. So I can say a vet is a person who treats anim sick animals, or a vet is a person that treats sick animals. I can say a bee is an insect which makes honey, or a bee is an insect that makes honey. Okay. Or I can say an ATM is a machine which gives you money from your bank account, or I can say an ATM is a machine that gives you money from your bank account. The only thing you have to be careful is that with the word that is a relative pronoun that is only used when we are identifying or defining the noun. Only when we are identifying or defining the noun. Okay? okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. All right, guys. So that is pretty much um, the what what um, the first part of section, well, basically 1.1 is about, okay? So if you want, after the class, you can go ahead on the platform and start looking at those exercises there with the relative clauses, using who and using that. Okay? Okay. 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 All right. Um, well, mm, Okay, uh, you said Raquel Campos, you say that uh, you're in a, you have a different platform? Yes. Okay, um, sorry to get, I just saw the, 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 um, the message in this moment. Um, Raquel, which, are, which, which um, module are you supposed to be in? It's intermediate uh, module uno. A usted le, la, la, la pusieron en el intermedio. Ajá. Ok, definitivamente entonces sí eh, tiene el, el enlace equivocado ahí para su, su clase. Okay. Um, este es el pre avanzado. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, so, ¿Y cómo puedo hacer para, para pasar a mi clase? Um, ¿Y, y este, es, este es el enlace que estaba en el correo que le mandaron? Sí, es el enlace. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bueno, entonces, y también el de que, WhatsApp. Eh. Bueno, entonces, eh, ¿sabe que de, Deme ahí su correo electrónico para que yo pueda reportarlo. Okay. Perfecto. Bueno, okay. Eh, while Raquel is giving me her information there, um, 
Uh, I was going to mention I was in the idea of, uh, for today's class. I was going to get you guys to practice a little bit with your classmates, uh, with the relative classes. But because today there were a lot of questions on how to use the platform, I think, uh, which was also very important because it's very important for you guys to um, to understand how to use it so that you can obviously use it, right? So um, we spent a little bit of time doing that. And I think that was important as well. So next class, we're going to do a little bit more of practice um, uh, with the relative clauses, with uh, who, using who, and using um, and using that. Okay. Any questions? Any other questions you guys have? Okay. Oh, teacher, thank no, you. No, we have any questions. No. no? Okay. It's clear. So if you want, if you it's if it's not really clear, when we when I upload the this video from today's class, you can look again at the information to uh, remind remember. Um, and if you still have any questions, you can go ahead and ask in the WhatsApp group. Okay. 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 Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Take care. You're welcome, guys. Um, so Raquel, I already have I written down your email address and I will report it there so that they can contact you and send you the correct link. Okay. Thank okay. You. All right. You're welcome. Um, all right, everybody. Everybody else is in the right class, right? This is pre-advanced number one. Number one. You're all. Yes. Number one? Yes, that's correct. Okay. That's great. Correct. Yeah. Okay, guys. In that case, that's going to be all for today's class. Um, just start practicing in the platform. Uh, from today, you can start practicing on that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I'll see, see you. you tomorrow at nine. Okay, okay. thank you. Tomorrow, Bye. have a good night. Bye, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye. Bye, take care. Take care.